Okay, so here we are. So assuming that we've agreed on a draft project charter that maybe you've submitted in Excel or Word, then we're going to enroll you in Traction, and then you got to kind of transfer that information into the Traction format. And I'm showing you a screen right now of what Traction looks like. So you've got to you know do some estimating on when you're thinking you're going to finish the various phases of the project. You've got to have a team. You're going to be the team leader. I'm going to be your coach. Um, there is no financial auditor. We don't emphasize the financial aspect in our program. We're asking you to work on real improvements, and we'll let the, the accountants take care of the rest of it. You put down your team members. Um, I'm going to encourage you to include team members. If I click on it, you can add team members outside of Cal Poly or people that are not currently on traction. You can put them there so that they can access and see the information. All right. So going back, um, include stakeholders. Do some rough estimates on the, the project costs. As I say, we're not emphasizing the dollar value of this. What we're looking for in your overall project is to you know, make something better by 50%, improve the quality by 50%, reduce the lead time by 50%, um, and reduce the cost by 50%. Um, so just go ahead and put some things in there. You might estimate it by the amount of time or hours versus an hourly wage that you're going to kind of attribute to yourself. And then um, talk to your sponsor about what you think the economic impact might be. Once again, this is good information to have. At the end of the project, you'll sort of reassess and see what you really did. And it was nice to have an estimate going in. Some basic information about the project here. Um, you don't have to have it being a restricted project unless there's something specific that you want to tell me about. You've got the problem statement. It's got little information tabs here that you can sort of hold your cursor over. And you get a little pop-up of telling you what they're looking for in that particular area. So problem statement, benefit to customers, business case, expected business outcomes, scope, inclusion. These are all things you've already done some work on probably at the draft level. One thing I always have to coach people that are doing this, there's these uh, two uh, things down here at the bottom on risks. So risk potentially affected by this project. Click on that. That'll give you a little pull-down menu of things. You have to say, I've thought about these things. And the same thing with things that could potentially lead to delays in completing the project. Take a look at those. Check the boxes that you uh, feel are appropriate. I can take a look at that and see if there's any real concern or follow-up. Or you can sort of check with me and see if um, some box you check you think is, is going to be something that's going to be detrimental to your project. And then we can do some work up front to maybe mitigate those uh, those risks or those potential delays. Okay, after that, you have submitted the project charter. It turns out this one is ready to be approved. I'm going to hit approve the project charter. And then you'll pop up and you'll be um, able to move into the next phase of the project which is the project work over here. And you'll see all the questions that are in the um, five phases of the MAG process, define, measure, analyze, improve, and control.